this is a poster in my office. Uh, this image is by Wes Wilson from April 1st, 1967. It advertises a concert featuring the birds, see all, all the text in the upper right, left corner, um, Moby Grape, Andrew Staples, and Set the Winterland in San Francisco. There's also a secondary concert at the Fillmore Auditorium, also in San Francisco. And let's talk about the types. So Wes Wilson is kind of known as the father of the psychedelic rock poster movement. He based his type on type he saw in posters from the secessionist period. So um, Alfred Roller did a poster in 1902, and if you looked at it, which you can see on our website, we did a whole blog post on Wes Wilson, um, you'll see that what Wes did was just kind of warp and, and stretch that 1902 secessionist type and turn it into this undulating, kind of very difficult to read style. He was also the person that approached uh, Bill Graham and with with poster design and Bill was like I love it but I can't read it and and Wes Wilson said something akin to yeah but it'll make them stop to read it uh, so he's 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 creating an audience kind of he's creating a captive audience because the type is so difficult to discern uh, the other hallmark of Wes Wilson's style as well as many other psychedelic artist styles that's present in this poster is that the, the giant peacock in the middle. You'll see it looks very much akin to a pen and ink drawing from the um, arts and crafts movement or the Art Nouveau movement in England. I personally think it looks an awful lot like a piece by Aubrey Beardsley. Some other people would say Will Bradley, but really anyone from that time period that really started using this undulating Art Nouveau return to nature feel in their work would produce something like this. And, and that, that heavy pen and ink line is also a big hallmark of that period. So you've got this mashup between this beautiful, very classic Art Nouveau image and then this psychedelically colored and warped text that references a completely different movement. And it's that kind of combination that became a hallmark of the psychedelic poster era, which was really very brief. It was only from the late 60s into maybe 1971. So you're looking at a real, like, flash in the pan in time. Um, but these posters are some of the most collected and easiest to display because they're, they're actually pretty small um, compared to the other posters you've seen in our series. So this is a poster by Wes Wilson. I hope you like it.